Hello again everyone, this is Human Hard Drive, and today we're continuing with our microcontroller tutorials uh, with the NetDuino again. Um, and today we're going to be uh, writing what is essentially the hello world of the microcontroller area, which is a blinking an LED. Uh, so if you watched our last video, you saw that we went over some of the aspects of the NetDuino and its pinouts and you should know now that what makes this really easy is that it has a built-in LED so we don't have to go out and find any components so with that let's get started uh, so as you can see I've opened up Visual C Sharp which you should have installed along with the .NET Microframework and the NetDuino drivers uh, you should have done that um, I'm also going to assume that you have a basic understanding of how to write programs uh, while statements, if statements, variables. Uh, this isn't a programming class, this is me showing you how to use a microcontroller. So, assuming all that, let's get started. Um, we're going to go up here to File, New Project. If you've installed everything, you should see an Arduino application right here under the micro framework. And we're just going to call this Blink LED. Okay, so it's gone ahead and created the project, and if we look over here to the right in the Solution Explorer, it's created all the elements we need, uh, the properties, the references, we're going to ignore those two for now. We're just going to double-click down here on program.cs, which is actually going to control the microcontroller. So here are your references. Again, we're going to ignore those for now, and we're just going to skip on down here to where it says write your code here. We're going to start by creating an output port object called LED. Um, so C Sharp is an object-oriented language, which means in order to do almost anything, you're going to have to eventually create an object. In this case, we're creating an object of the output port class and calling it LED. The output port class is an object of the .NET framework, of the .NET micro framework, um, and it takes two arguments. It takes the pin it's controlling, in this case the onboard LED. Uh, this is specific uh, to the microcontroller you're using. Um, it could change. You'd have to look through your uh, the programming specifications to find this. Uh, and it takes the initial state, which is a Boolean statement, uh, either true or false, uh, which basically controls what it will be when it starts running. In this case, turning the LED off. So now we're going to come down, create a simple while statement, which will run the program as long as there's power. As I told you in the last video, it is capable of multitasking or multi-threading, and that's what this does. It's putting the thread we're running to sleep for X amount of milliseconds, or uh, one second in this case, a thousand milliseconds being one second. Um, threading is something we'll talk about later, but just take it on faith that this will pause the code for a number of seconds or milliseconds. LED dot write. True. So uh, the write is a method of the output port class. Uh, it writes a Boolean value to the pin, turning it on or off. In this case, we're writing true, so we're turning the LED on. So we've turned it off. Now we're waiting one second, and we're turning it on. Then we're going to ask it to sleep for another second, and then we're going to turn it back then it'll come back up to the top of the code and then turn it on and then turn it off and turn it on and it'll blink at a specified frequency with a specified duration. Uh, you can actually change the rate it blinks just by uh, adjusting these two numbers. That's all there really is to it. And that's it. That is essentially the Hello World program. Uh, all that'll do is blink the LED. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and deploy that, but before we can do that, because this is a new project and you have to do this whenever you create a new project for the NetDuino, you have to go under Project, Blink LED Properties, and come on down here to the .NET Micro Framework. As you can see under Deployment, under Transport, it's set to an emulator. Now that's useful for some people, but it's not useful for us right now. So we're going to have to go ahead and change it to USB, and NetDuino, NetDuino which changes the deployment to the actual Arduino. It'll write the program right onto the board 
and it'll start working immediately. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to just hit F5 and that'll build it. Should see it build progress down here. And rebooting the chip. And there it goes, it's deploying it. Okay, so here it is, as you can see, I plugged it in, and it's got the power LED on. And as for the code, uh, the LED is blinking on and off at one second intervals. Um, so this will keep running as long as you've got the uh, power supply in. Uh, even if you take out the micro USB and switch to a DC jack, it'll automatically restart the code, and it'll just keep running as long as it's got power. Uh, so that's essentially it for the Blink LED program. Uh, you can check the description for the code if you want it. Um, be sure to check out our next video where we're going to talk about controlling the code with if statements, uh, specifically using the switch here. Uh, so this has been Human Hard Drive. Uh, thanks for watching.